When the spawn meets world Spawn meets world Wandering down this road That we call life Is what we're doing It's good to know I have friends Who will always Stand by me When the spawn meets world Hey What are you doing in my seat? Well, well, the wife and I aren't together anymore, and I figured it would be safer if I had a buffer. This breakup is now having severe ramifications on me. Ooh, ramifications. Nice word, Jughead. You see, now Feeney knows I'm in the class. It's just logistics, Sean. Listen, if I sit in that seat, I can still smell her hair, hear her breathe, watch her sweater go up when she raises her hand. Oh, okay, I'll sit here. <laughs> but... I'm only between you two, okay? I'm not in the middle of you. Hey, Topanga, can I uh, borrow your big pencil? They're not divorced, Kenny. It's just a trial separation. And don't think I don't know what borrow a pencil means, okay? Nobody. Nobody's borrowed more pencils than Sean Hunter. Hey, thanks for not getting in the middle of this. He was just asking for a pencil. I know what he was asking for. And if he asks again, I'll stab that big pencil through his heart. You hear me, Kenny? <laughs> Why is Sean so obsessed with you two? I don't know, but he's almost taking it harder than me and Corey. We'll return to the young and the restless right after this word from Feeney. And here is the word. Shut up. <laughs> Mr. Feeney, I'm sure if you recall the pain of being stabbed in the back by a girlfriend. I didn't stab him, he stabbed me. Oh, I'd stab myself before I'd stab you. Kenny, give me that pencil. I don't have one. <laughs> This class will not be more interested in the romantic goings-on of its students than it is with whatever I'm teaching. <laughs> Matthews, go sit on that side of the room. Lawrence, you sit on this side. Right now, let's go. Mr. Feeney, you can't do that. You're contributing to the furtherance of their apartments. I'm trying to teach a class here. Now, Mr. Hunter, Nebraska. Oh, don't try and change the subject. Quiet! <laughs> One more crazy interruption, and all you nuts are going into detention. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I didn't think seniors still got detention. They do when they act like two-year-olds. They do when they act like two-year-olds. <laughs> Mr. Matthews, when one mocks someone, one should wait until they're not looking right at them. I'm not my regular seat. <laughs> this is detention, people. That means no talking, moving, or fraternizing for the next hour and a half. Where are you going, Mr. Fiend? I am not in detention, Mr. Hunter. I can do as I please. And don't for a moment think, because of my absence from this room, that you're not being watched. All I wanted was a pencil. <laughs> oh, shut up, Kenny. You're lucky to even be here. I don't happen to see it that way. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Well, if we're going to be in here for over an hour, then I'm going to my locker to get my cheese product. <laughs> Can you believe this? Feeney locked us in. He can't do that. It's against the Geneva Detention Convention. <laughs> Do you think he works on that look? Hey! Giggles! We're locked in! Do you have the key? Hey! <laughs> you wanna let us out? Okay, this is getting scary. What is going on? I don't know, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> 